How's it going guys? So now that it's April, we want to look to seed off alpha as soon as the ground is fit. And I believe it is now. So the last few years here, we've been doing it with this John Deere 15 foot no-till drill that we have. And it's worked okay. The, the alpha alpha stands haven't been as good though as we'd like. So we're gonna try something a little different this year. A couple things we don't like about this one is it doesn't have a grass seed box on it. So you can have a, a separate smaller seed box on the front of here you can get installed for uh, for planting smaller seeds and being more precise metering. This one doesn't have it. So we've been putting the alfalfa seed in the main boxes and we think it could be a little better. The other thing we don't like is this drill has seven and a half inch row spacing, which is fine for the fall when we're planting our cover crops. But we'd like to get our alfalfa a little bit closer. We think if the rows were closer, the weed control might be better and we might get a better stand. So our neighbor actually has a different type of drill that we're gonna be renting this year. We're going to go pick it up right now, going to unhook the 7130, and then we'll head down there. i tell you what, it's nice having options. I want to do some spraying here, maybe tomorrow, so I'm going to leave the sprayer on the New Holland. You can use the John Deere this time. The drill is about a mile down the road. I picked up the drill. This one's nice because it turns sideways. It's on the road, it's not sticking way out. Pretty much staying in my lane. I got it home here. First thing I'm gonna do is figure out how to turn it to uh, plant mode. I think I need to pull up uh, something there that locks it in. I believe this latch here holds it in place. Pull that out. See if we can get it opened up. Okay. Got it straightened out here. Took a little bit to figure out how that worked, but back it up to the shop here and load our seed. What we have here is an Esch 12 foot no-till drill. Esch is a local company, they're built here locally. These drills are designed a little bit different. The row spacing is closer, so they're five and a half inch rows. We got 25 rows across 12 feet, and ours has 24 across 15 feet. And the way it's set up is there's cultures in the front that run over it and kind of till the ground all across the front here. And then here's where the seeds drop down. Now this drill has a smaller seed box here in the back, set up for small seeds like alfalfa. Alpha. So we're going to be using this here today. If you would be planting rye or wheat or triticale or something, you'd be using this box here. So if you're seeding wheat or something, you're going to want it down below the surface. And the tubes would come out down here, right between these discs. Uh, with these, but with the, the, the grass seed box here in the back that we're going to be using today, the tubes drop down right here in the back and it's just going to come out. So it's basically gonna till the ground a little bit and drop the seeds on top. And then these packer wheels are gonna run over top. So with alfalfa, you don't want it very deep. You want it just below the surface. We're gonna try and seed it about 25 pounds to the acre. So we're planting coated alfalfa seed uh, right in this range between J and K. So all I gotta do is set this at the right spot here. And then uh, it should turn out good. We'll see how it goes. So these seed boxes don't hold very much. We don't have that much to do, but each bag does two acres. I have 16 acres to do. Dad's got a little welding project to do. I'm gonna go see how this thing works. We have 16 acres we wanna to seed today. And these fields I have sprayed already. They had cover crop in them. About three weeks ago, I went through with glyphosate, sprayed them, killed them off, and they're ready to go now. So we're starting here with this nice rectangle field. It's eight and a half acres. 
and it's right behind the calf barn right here and uh, you can see the side of the freestyle barn there bit across the end I want to see how it's working so it definitely tills it up more than ours does it's got these no-till colders in the front they really dig in deep so right there you can see the little seeds just tiny little pink seeds you can see it's coming through it's where it meters it out just drops down through the tubes it appears to be working. I'm gonna go around a couple times here and then maybe we'll check on it again, make sure everything's working all right. I'm having a couple issues here. Got a bunch of chickweed in the field and it's jamming up, it kind of builds up and jams up between the discs. I gotta watch it while I'm going and that got pretty bad there. I'm gonna have to use this crowbar to dig it out. And then this one tube here, I noticed overflowing. It's got dirt plugged in in the bottom. So I'm gonna take this nail and clean that out. I guess I'll take this hose off the top and then we can see what the issue is. There's just a piece of dirt in there. I took this hose off. I'm gonna go out to the field and then dig this out before we keep running. first field is giving us a little bit of trouble so I switched to another field here this one's a little bit cleaner and it's, it seems to be working better it's starting to rain a little bit though so if it's gonna rain I'm gonna have to stop I like to keep about 50 acres in alfalfa and each seeding will last for three years so it's not like we're going through and planting 50 acres every year we just rotate about a third of it every year so it's about 16 acres this year last year we did 20 acres next year we'll do around 15 so when we go to do second cutting hay with the older hay crops this will be coming up and we'll be able to cut this for the first time then when we do second cutting that'll be in about June mid-June I would say this is my final pass in this strip here. So alfalfa is a legume, just like uh, soybeans are. So that's a, uh, it's a good crop to rotate with corn and it kind of feeds the soil the opposite way. So if you rotate your fields you know, every third year, switch back and forth, it's gonna help the, the health and the yield of the two crops. So I got those two fields done and apparently there's a water line leaking right under the driveway. We're gonna have to dig it out and fix it today. Our neighbor's helping us out. He has a backhoe on his Kubota. He's digging it out for us. I don't see it, but over here is where we're shooting at, that side. Get out and... He's trying to dig it. The mud goes down in. Yeah. No problem. We dug it up and found it, so I guess my dad and uncle are gonna fix it right now. I would really like to get this last field done. It's a little wetter because it had some weeds, but I, I think it'll work. I'm just gonna keep trying here and try to finish up today. Got loaded up. Gotta do. I'm really liking this John Deere on the drill. The turning radius is really sharp.
done. I just gotta keep an eye on it because this chickweed that's in this field will build up in between those discs and it'll get clogged up. It's happened a couple times, but if I keep an eye on it and I just lift it up a little bit, if it starts to build up, it usually just falls out and that's fine. I just gotta keep paying attention. covered just a little bit here to do at the very end drop it down right here I guess we'll see if it grows hopefully we got a better stand than we had last year with our crane drill so someone else needs to use this drill so I got to get the rest of these seeds out of here and then take it back Take it home. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I have to mix feed now. I'm getting a little bit of a late start, so I gotta get moving. I'll see you in the next video. Looks like they got the water line fixed here. Good work, Dad. Thank you.